Okay, here I am fishing today. I just finished my last uh, final yesterday, so I figured I'd better get out here fishing. And I actually came here hoping that there'd be some open water, but amazingly there's not. Like, there's open, there was open water where, where I was fishing yesterday, so I was expecting open water here. But there's about two and a half to two inches of ice wherever I go here. But I don't trust that much ice that much. So what I have done is I have strung a rope. I have strung this rope next to uh, next to my holes where I'm fishing. So that that should keep me safe. I don't you won't break through two inches of ice, but it's just safety, you know. Safety first folks. Anyways, gonna get my stuff on for whitefish. That rig there is for walleye pike <coughs> ling or burbit, depending on who you are. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so with the way the ice is, I'm not gonna be fishing very far away from the dam, as you can see. <coughs> so what I am starting with is a lovely hangnail. I hate hangnails when I got gloves on. And uh, a lure I'm going to start with is this. So it's a really good hook though. It's good for walleye. I've caught pike on it. I don't like it when I catch pike on it. And I've caught lots of whitefish. It's honestly the whitefish I'm hoping for. <coughs> I'm hoping that my throat will clear up a little bit. But I will start filming if I catch something. Okay, so I just got one. Sorry, it just it bit so fast that I didn't even have time to turn on the camera. I'll pick it up for the fish the camera. Oop. I'll be keeping. It's not a very big one, but I'll keep it because. I'm a little low on white fleshed fish, so that'll be a good start. I've been fishing for probably 10 minutes now. That's the first one. Okay, so I just finally caught another one. I probably went a good 10, 15 minutes without a bite. I forgot my watch, so I don't actually know how much time is passing. So there. Oop. Just another typical whitefish for here. So that makes supper for my wife and I. But he, they're not aggressive today. That's why I changed actually from a rapala to a shrimp imitation. Because they're just acting so not aggressive. This guy just slowly came in and slowly took my bait. It is kind of actually pathetic how slow they are. Normally I come here and I use a chicken wrap and I just catch tons and tons, but they're very unaggressive today. Maybe as the day goes on, I'll try the chicken wrap again and see if they become more aggressive. But I'll go put that one on a stringer and down the hole, because that's what I do to keep them nice and fresh, is I put them on a stringer and I put them down a nice fishing hole so they can stay in the water and not freeze solid. Well, I think I found the spot that lots of uh, guys like to lose their hooks and stuff. I found some. Here's an interesting thing. So, it's not the hook that's actually in the crayfish. I'm going to see if I can get it to focus on what I want. Okay, right there, you should be able to, you should be able to see that the line is wrapped around his claw. The line is wrapped around his claw perfectly all the way around his big claw. So this crayfish must have gotten tangled up in the line and just died there. I've actually, one other time here I found a crayfish tangled up like this and it's crazy. That shows you how bunches of line like this can be actually kind of dangerous to aquatic creatures. Cause yeah, he just got tangled up in that and died. It's crazy. And then I got some jig heads. None of them are in very good shape. Got some weights, got some wire worms, got a bobber, a spoon. But most of it's just crap. 
So I might see if I can wash some of it up, but it's pretty bad. It's all old and rusty. So yeah, see what happens with all this. The lead weights will all be good. Got quite a few lead weights here, so that's nice. And that's what I was able to find. But all this was within like three meters of each other. So I think a lot of guys like to fish in that specific spot and let, when they keep losing their stuff, there's three jig heads that are all white and two of them are the exact same type, so I'm wondering if it was the exact same guy fishing that just kept snagging himself. Anyways, well, that's it for now. Okay, so uh, that fishing was very slow today. It was horrible actually, and yeah. So I'm gonna be heading out now. Maybe get to do some Christmas shopping quickly. But I guess I better show you what I was using. So, you can see that it's a wire worm. Let's see if I can make it focus on that. Come on. Anyways, it's a wire worm. And I put the tip of a jig body on there. And that's how I caught the two white fish. But today was super slow. I saw probably about, I don't know, 15 to 20. But they were so unaggressive. Most of them would just swim by as if they were just looking at my hook. They didn't even nibble at it is very bad so anyways i don't know if i'll come back here this winter but i'll probably talk myself back into coming so that's it for today so if any of you want to become advertisers follow the link below to my facebook page for my channel not my fishing charters and if you're wanting to have a fishing trip you can follow my fish guiding facebook page and that's it for today till next time